Uh, good day, Mel Mariah. Psalm 5111 says, Restore to me the joy of my salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. God has sustained us from the beginning of this pandemic until now, and it appears that our joy is being restored as we are going back to doing so many of our normal activities. I do encourage all of you, if you have not done so, uh, to please make sure you get uh, the vaccination shot. The more of us that are vaccinated, the healthier our community will be, and your health is contingent upon whether or not you have taken the vaccination shot or not. So if you haven't taken it, I do encourage you to do so. As of Friday, according to the Mayor's Office of the District of Columbia, uh, places of worship will have no capacity restrictions. There will be no capacity restrictions for places of worship beginning this Friday. And so I wanted to come to you to talk about a few things. The first is, if you're ready to come back to worship, we have been prepared for you to do so. We are still going to take temperature checks. Uh, you will still have to wear masks uh, doing worship. Uh, we will have air uh, circulating in the sanctuary. In fact, air is circulating um, without or within our education wing. Uh, so we are on target there. Uh, everything you need to be engaged in a safe environment is taking place here at, at Mount Moriah. And as much as we can, we will continue to social distance as well. I still are not allowing or will not allow uh, youth and children to join us in worship. I want to wait until the majority of our youth and children are vaccinated and for them to prepare to go back to school full time in the fall. So it will be in the fall that we will reopen our children and youth church. And so uh, I just wanted to wait uh, a few more months to ensure the health and safety of our children as well. And I did not want children to come into the sanctuary when they have not been vaccinated, uh, even though I am vaccinated, for example, um, still uh, the virus can be received by those who are not vaccinated, even though studies are showing that the chances of me getting the virus is not impossible, but very slim. And me giving the virus to others is very slim as well. Uh, however, uh, we don't want to create an environment where the virus is, is given to those who have not been vaccinated, which includes our children. So the safety of our children and youth is so important. So we will wait until uh, September when the District of Columbia schools open, uh, that is the time in which our youth and children will be welcomed back in worship. Again, you can come to worship if you are uh, ready to do so. Our new worship time is at 10 o'clock. Uh, you do not have to register because, again, there is no capacity restrictions. Uh, we're going to try our best to social distance Despite no capacity restrictions, we're still going to wear masks. Uh, we're still going to do temperature checks and we're still going to um, do the things that, that we believe are necessary in order to continue to protect ourselves. I know that CDC has said that we don't, those who are fully vaccinated do not have to wear masks uh, any longer. Uh, have I'm just discomfortable um, wearing masks. Uh, I know that restaurants and stores have the capacity um, to decide whether or not they would like to keep the mask mandate um, going. And so that's what we're going to do. We, we're going to continue to wear masks. Uh, at some point, we will not 
but I don't feel comfortable, neither do I sense our congregation does uh, feel comfortable with not wearing masks in the sanctuary at this time. So continue to pray for Mel Mariah. I do encourage you to continue to support us in the work we're trying to do here. Uh, we are uh, in the process of having lights installed in the sanctuary. So prayerfully, uh, whenever you do decide to come back, uh, we will have a new lighting system that will enhance our worship. And also understand that there will be some who would choose to watch worship from the confinement of their homes and have no intention whatsoever of coming back to church. And that is, that is fine. We are still here to serve you. And so we have enhanced our uh, internet uh, streaming. And so you can see us in, in more places on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. So we're gonna to continue to do what church experts are calling the hybrid system. We, we will be meeting in person and we will also uh, be streaming our services live from now on. So again, please join us either in person or via our uh, website or our social media sites as we continue to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Continue to take care of yourself and I hope to see you soon. God bless you.